Hey there, everybody. This is a quick little PSA to tell you that this is your official last chance to get anything before it all goes away at the end of the season. To start out, Zer is at Nessus, which is located at the Watcher's Grave. Zer is selling the Telesto, is Besto. For Hunters, he's selling Gemini Jesters with 24 Intellect, 2 Recovery, 2 Discipline. Eh, I mean, hey, it could be better, but at least the mobility is nice on it. For Titans, he's selling the Atom Warwig. Actim, Act, Actim War Rig. God, it's so hard to pronounce that. Honestly, with 20 recovery at base, you could put, you could probably put on some resilience to make it a little better, but hey, it's definitely at least a nice little pickup with some more recovery on it. And for Warlocks, the helmet that desperately needs a shader, the Verity's Brow. You can use this helmet to easily turn any uh, Vortex Grenade into a mini Nova Bomb, which is really nice. And with a base stat of 19 Discipline, honestly, I'd say this is worth picking up on it. And then for the sign we have 7th Seraph uh, Sidearm with Elemental Capacitor. Whispering Slab Combat Bow from Season of Arrivals. Demolitionist Quick Draw. I mean, Demolitionist is a good perk overall. And then for the Scout Rifle, we have Eternal Blazin. And uh, it's got Unrelenting High Cal Killing Wind. Killing Wind is at least a great perk because it makes you zoomy and whatnot. And it looks like we have the Long Shadow and... It's rare that I see an explosive payload on a long shadow, and it's kind of funny to me, honestly. And then we have a Widow's Bite. I would definitely like this if it had Clown Cartridge and Firing Line. We have the Seventh Seraph Saw LMG, which if you do remember next season, uh, we are getting an LMG buff, which is going to be pretty nice. So this thing with Vorpal Weapon might be worth it. And then it looks like we have a Royal Entry Rocket Launcher with Field Prep, which is pretty nice. And it's got some impact casing as well. And Thresh, goddamn, I wish it was better. <laughs> And then finally, the exotics. We have the Hawkmoon with Eye of the Storm and Small Boar. And for the Dead Man's Hill, oh no, Zer is selling another God Roll Dead Man's Hill with High Cal? Oh my goodness, Zer, you shouldn't have. Also going away next season is going to be this exclusive uh, shader, which you can get right now for 300 Bright Dust, which if you don't know what it does, it makes every glow in your armor RGB color. So as you can see, my helmet's changing color. Some of the lights on my robe are changing color, which I should probably be showcasing a better robe for. That is so freaking clean. I honestly like it with these robes from uh, last year's uh, Guardian games. But yes, be sure to pick this up. This shader is absolutely worth it for the cool glow effects. And then it looks like we have... What in the hell? Wait. <laughs> what? What the f... What? 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 what is Wait, what is this? That's actually hilarious. I need to get it. And then for the Bright Dress Shop, we have the Vex Mythic Class Ornament, the class of its own, if you don't have that yet, which I will get it because... Which I will get it. And yes, don't mind that I don't have the Vex Mythic Class uh, yet because this game's RNG is great. And then we have the Give Me a G uh, exotic emote that's going to be going away next season. So make sure to pick this up because this uh, emote is honestly worth it. And then we have these shaders that are being sold now in the uh, Bright Dress Shop as well. The Champion Shell, the Wedge, the Victory's Herald, and the High Score Emo. Oh, and also not to mention that it is going to be your last chance to officially get a Adept Palindrome roll from this week's uh, Grandmaster Nightfall, which is going to be the Scarlet Keep. Once once the season ends, you will not be able to get another Palindrome after probably a long time, actually. So make sure to go pick one of these up if you don't have one already. And that will be it for the PSA for today. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I will see you guys later.